Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a new video. My name is Yulia. For those who don't know, I'm a data scientist by training, now working as a cloud solution architect for Microsoft, and I make videos about everything related to data science and tech, my daily life and how my job works, uh, and also some stuff to try to teach you guys machine learning and how to do things on Azure. Today, we're going to do a day in the life video. It is uh, Monday, so that already sucks, but it's actually a pretty busy and packed Monday with a lot of meetings and um, tasks that I have to get through. We'll take a few in-between meeting breaks to talk to you guys and explain a bit about the architect role and how I still work with data science from a different perspective. And I'll show you what a day in the life looks like working from home. Let's go. So I am still working from my living room. I have my laptop and my extra screen and all the things that uh, my employer kindly sent to me so that I can continue to do my job and have enough visual space for all the code and presentations and workshops that I have to work on. And I am doing most of my work from here. It is quite different not to be able to go to the office. First of all, just the morning commute, the fact that you have to get ready, get dressed, and physically get out the house and walk through the cold until you reach your office. It's something that kind of wakes you up and gets you started for the day. Um, we don't have that anymore. So if I can show you, this is my working uniform most days. It's not something that I would necessarily show up with in the office, even though we work in IT, so it wouldn't be so extreme. But um, yeah, it's definitely more cozy and it's definitely more relaxed, which is comfortable, but it's also not as motivating as you know, putting on your armor, so to say, and going out somewhere. Um, but we try to make do. However, the most important part of my day is making more coffee. Some quick instant noodles with fried egg. Very good. So on today's agenda, we have to prepare for two presentations. One of them is for a client on Thursday and I'm presenting to them about cognitive services. So that's our um, AI out of the box APIs that Microsoft Azure has. The second presentation is internal. Uh, we have an initiative that I'm working on with some colleagues and we're gonna brainstorm uh, different ideas that we could try for that. I have a meeting with my manager at 10, I think. So I have to prepare my personal development plan and what I wanna focus on for the next year. So that's something I need to wrap up. And I have a client presentation for about three hours. Well, it's already a presentation. Uh, it's a data science team and they're working through Azure Machine Learning and we're going to help them with debugging and answering any questions or blockers that they come up with. So that's kind of a thing that we do to support them to start their data science initiatives. So it's a pretty busy day and I still have to check my email since it's Monday morning. Different things could have popped up as well. So I'll first go through that and see what remains on the schedule for the rest of the day. I'll probably do a meeting montage now. <laughs> time of the day now it is lunch time so I'm going to take a walk around Leiden and then I'll have some food and then back to work but for now just getting some fresh air some very cold fresh air as you can see I'm very huddled up it's definitely winter here in the Netherlands there's not gonna be any snow I don't think but it's still quite cold on most days so uh, it's really nice to have a lot of warm layers on Time for a city walk montage.
tomatoes and a salad I'm about to make a quick dressing for. Ready! Alright, I have my coffee. My break is almost over, so the last thing I'm going to share with you before I go back into time-lapse mode is how I handle my agenda. So, like I said, my work is a combination of client meetings and internal things I have to do. Uh, because we work from home now, that is all digital. So we meet over Teams and we have the conference calls together, which um, you know doesn't really have the same kind of relationship that you would have when you visit your actual customers or you have your colleagues in the office with you and you can all talk together. Uh, but it still works. So as much as I like working from home, I kind of like the hybrid model more where we can work from home when needed, but we still go and um, meet our team and the different clients that we have when we have meetings with them, with them. But if you just have to work on a presentation, you can do that from anywhere. If it's your home, if it's a coffee shop, if it's the beach, um, if that's what works for you and you're still productive, then that's awesome. So I really, really liked that before. Um, but now that we have to work from home all the time, I find that I kind of miss the, the interaction with the, the different people and I think the relationships and the trust are built better in person. So I hope we'll have both uh, working from home and being in the office soon. So the way that I schedule my uh, calendar now, since I don't have to travel from one place to another, uh, you can be very tempted to just have back-to-back -back meetings all day, but I try to have breaks in between so you can have some coffee, you can walk around at least in the living room but I try to take a walk outside every day just to get some fresh air and to get some steps in, which is just good for being a human and having your mental health still functioning. Um, then I try to book a lot of time for myself as well. So even if I don't have a meeting, I can still put it in my calendar that for these 30 minutes, I'm preparing a presentation or I'm setting up for a workshop or I'm uh, trying something out myself like a proof of concept or trying out a new Azure feature and I book that time so that I am uh, going to do the thing that I said that I would do. I hold myself accountable that way but also other people don't book meetings with me because I really need that time to focus and that's something that's also very important. So it's not about being in meetings all day every day. Um, that may seem like you're be very busy, but I think that it's not the most productive because then you talk about things that you have to do, you talk about things that you should do or things that you've done, but you don't have a lot of time to actually do the things if you're always in meetings with other people, if that makes sense. So I try to keep a balance between uh, working by myself and discussing with people so that uh, you make sure you're on the right track at least. meeting segment for you. The last topic I want to squeeze in today's video is still about the architect role. I know a lot of the content that I post on this channel is about data science and that's because that's what I studied and that's what I'm passionate about and that's still what I deal with uh, most of the days but I want to explain what the different angle that an architect has is. <laughs> With regards to that, that was a weird sentence. So, for example, if I work with a data scientist, uh, our role as an architect is to help them put their data science experiments into a platform like Azure Machine Learning and to get them ready for production, for example. To make sure that the data that they're using is also stored in the cloud and can be accessed in a secure way and also to make sure that they use the best technology and the best settings for their models to run really well. Uh, they can also use some of our own models, they can use different cognitive services that they put in to make their models better, but uh, we don't so much help them necessarily with the code of the model per se, although that's also something that we can do and I have done sometimes just because I do have the data science background. So the role really um, varies 
depending on what kind of background you have and what kind of people you work with. Sometimes it's just high level architecture design and sometimes it's debug code with them. So you still need to be able to kind of understand um, the programming language that is being discussed, if not be able to program it yourself, which of course is a plus. Um, so yeah, I thought I would kind of explain that since I'll still be making a lot of content about data science and I also have the Azure Machine Learning uh, 101 data science series, I think that's what it's called. So there I explain how you can go from learning machine learning and being a data scientist to also using all these frameworks and cloud technologies to make your data science project better and to be a more well-rounded data scientist. That was my little rant of the day. And now I'm going to get back to it and probably just do some more meetings and um, finish some presentations before dinner time. And then I'm going to be cooking again and then that will be the end of the day. I know it's not a very exciting day, but that's what working from home is like most of the time. Just me sitting at a computer and I can do a ton of time lapses of it. I'm having a lot of fun doing it with my new camera, but that might not be the most entertaining thing. So the next video is going to be um, probably another data science on Azure series. So more in-depth explanation of a topic and um, I'll just still do some vlogs in between just because the theoretical videos take a lot more time to make in order to make sure that I teach what I mean to teach in a way that I'm proud of. Whereas these videos are just, uh, yeah, me taking breaks and filming a little. So I hope you like both types. Let me know what you would like to see in the future. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Next up, probably jumping to dinner. Bye.